Good morning children. Today we shall learn more about symmetry. That is what is axis of symmetry. But first what is symmetry? We already know a figure is symmetric in nature when it can be divided into two identical halves meaning the two parts are exactly same in size and shape like this line divides the leaf into two identical halves same way here the flower and here the Taj Mahal is divided into two identical halves so all of these figures are symmetric now are they symmetric in nature let us figure it out first the butterfly here this line is dividing the butterfly into identical halves they are exactly same in size and shape in case of edge this line is dividing the edge into two identical halves here this horizontal line is dividing D into two identical halves you know the line which could be anything horizontal vertical or any angle which divides any figure into two identical halves is called line of symmetry so a symmetric figure always has a line of symmetry it is also called axis of symmetry let us see if this image of sheep is symmetric or not using this vertical line let us try to divide into two identical halves look we don't get two identical halves so this is not the line of symmetry now let's try by drawing a horizontal line again these two parts are not identical so we saw this figure is asymmetric because we couldn't find any line of symmetry you can have a question like can a figure have more than one line of symmetry let us try to figure this out this is a blue star let us see if this figure is symmetric or not let us draw a line this way look here the blue star is divided into two identical halves so this is the line of symmetry is there any other way to do it let us try the other way like this here again we see that this line divides the blue star into two identical halves so this is also a line of symmetry again using this line the figure is divided into two identical halves so we see the blue star has more than two lines of symmetry it has exactly three lines of symmetry as we saw a figure can have more than one line of symmetry like the blue star we saw it had one two and three lines of symmetry now let us do it practically take a square paper and cut a small square on the one corner of the paper similarly cut the same side square on the remaining three corners of the paper look we made the same figure as we saw before now let us see how many lines of symmetry it has first 
fold from the middle along a horizontal line. See, both the sides are identical. Now we will fold along the vertical line. See, again these two halves are identical, meaning they are exact in shape and size. Next, we will try to fold diagonally. Look, again we get identical halves. If we fold it along other diagonal too, we get identical halves. So we see, we folded this figure in four different ways and got identical halves. So, four ways means four lines of symmetry. Understood? Now, coming to this figure, how many lines of symmetry it has? Let us see. First, if we draw this way a vertical line, these two are identical halves. Now, let us try other way the horizontal way. Here again these two parts the upper and lower are identical halves. Is there other way? Let's try diagonally. So these two parts are identical halves again. The other way would be another diagonal and here again we see these two are identical halves. So we can say this figure has four lines of symmetry. So now you know what do we mean by line of symmetry or the axis of symmetry. It is a line which divides a symmetric figure into two identical halves and also that a figure can have more than one line of symmetry. Like here the blue star, we showed there are three lines of symmetry or three axes of symmetry. So that was all about symmetry. Bye bye children.